Okay, so this is the Queen Battle of Battle First Aid Responder Services here in Boston, Massachusetts at Northeastern University. Um, I'm, I'm go, going through a string, a string of videos, and then I will go ahead and make this uh, clear. I'm going to go through this. Today is Sunday, August the 22nd. I'm very happy to be here in Boston. I'm going to go through and make this quick 5, 10, 15 minute videos. Get these tapas across because I've got to share and hopefully someone on the internet as well as on my social media feed, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever social media impact I have with you guys will let you know how I feel about the issue as well as get the word across because it's already the end of the year, 2021. It's already August, September is coming along and people have been calling me out on a lot of issues. There's a lot of political issues going on across the world in government, in politics, in the church, in school, in education, in COVID-19, the pandemic, whatever it is. Uh, Governor Cuomo has been has been uh, just resigned, which he's been the leader of COVID-19, the task force uh, across the United States, him and along with Dr. Tony Fauci, but it's really been Governor Andrew Cuomo and Tony Fauci together. So it's a whole other issue I've got to talk about with them. But today, I want to focus on a link by link by link by link of issues that I've got to address and talk with you guys here on my YouTube platform. And hopefully, it will get out to you guys. Issues will be addressed. And hopefully, I will be able to, to, to share this with you guys as well as try to figure out what's going on. And you guys will hopefully understand it and share this video message with other people too. So this is a clean bottom. I'm going to go ahead and get this. The topic today, I want to, on my fifth topic today, is talking about Jesse Jackson. The Reverend Jesse Jackson of the... Um, I, have my, I have a brain fart. Excuse me. Um, let me see. <sighs> It's not the Freedom Farms Coalition, I'm sorry. He wasn't he wasn't with the SCLC. I have a brain fart because I'm going through so many, so many topics today. Um, Jesse Jackson was he was a former US representative. Okay, his also his son ran for Congress too. I think he won. Um, Democratic personal candidate in 1984, 1988. Um, he also was a senator, a Baptist minister. Um, and then um, let me see. He was involved with the Rainbow Porsche Coalition. Okay, all right. So, um, which was a bit involved with a lot of civil rights issues from the 1950s, 1960s. He was involved with Dr. Martin Luther King during the 1950s, 1960s civil rights movement, as well as the Rainbow Porsche Coalition in the 1980s. So today I was really just trying to address this issue when I went to Hillsong Church today in Boston, Massachusetts. I was really trying to push this out, uh, call it to the church, both Catholic the and the Christian church, but um, they didn't want to hear what I had to say. So whatever it is, I'll try to get it out next time, okay? I try to do a public discussion about this, whatever it is. Whoever wants to show up, can show up. Because I did this in Albany, I had a couple people show up, which was great, but I want to get this issue across, and hopefully other people will also be able to share the same message. Okay, so Jesse Jackson, as you know, has been one of the longest standing leaders of the civil rights movement that we've had since the 1950s. Of course, you know, we had, we had um, Congressman John Lewis, who just passed last year of a brief illness. We had, we lost him. Uh, so that was a, a big, big, huge fault. Loss to the black community. And now because of COVID-19, we are, uh, the positive result of COVID-19 from, from Reverend Jesse Jackson, just he, he tested positive yesterday. That is also a big, big, huge issue on how it is impacting the black community because we are dealing with losing I'm dealing with what is the message that wants to come across, what would we tell to this future generation to help them not forget from where we came from, to not forget from where we came from. So I usually, okay, I'm on this YouTube internet, okay, so I'm on the internet talking to you guys, but eventually I want to be able to talk about this and address this issue in the public. And usually, most of the time it's like, oh, you're a girl or you're a woman. You should sit still and you should be quiet and you should just listen to other people who have way more experience and way more power and way more influence than you. So you should just sit down and be silent and be still. And you don't have a word, okay? But I'm using this internet, this internet to just to talk to you guys, okay? It's pretty much how it is. 
Jesse Jackson has made, it, has made an impact in the black community. We are losing our leaders. We are losing the influence. The black community is losing its power. So we have people in the, in the black community like, you know, um, Real Housewives of Atlanta. We have all this love and hip hop culture. We have all this black ink crew culture. It's great, it's great. The black community is it's good to have people that look good on camera, to have people and that look good on TV, to have people that are fixated, oh, I'm a musician, oh, I'm an artist, oh, I'm a celebrity. That's great, that's everything, but we are still losing the impact of positive, positive leadership, positive change in our community in our community and so i mean it's good to look good you know i mean it's great to feel good to look good to have millions of dollars to be rich to be successful but we need a little bit more than that in the community in the community to deal with okay we need a little bit more than that and so jesse jackson in in his movement has been able through his organization the Porsche coalition has been able to pass legislation that has changed laws not just for the black community but for people all around the world the freedom finders movement the 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 poverty movement okay he the housing the housing crisis the housing movement for improving low-income housing for millions and millions of americans all across the world jesse jackson has been along with a lot of other civil rights activists has been involved pretty much in making changes to people who haven't had have not had the opportunity to change their life who have not been given the same opportunity afforded to them if they were in a much predominantly white community rich and wealthy or they just did not was able to be exposed to a better environment growing up and so it has been the leadership as well as the leadership of al sharpton jesse jackson um um, there's so many people, uh, radios, a radio host, I can't because my, I'm just going off and off and off. I'm just, my, my brain, I have a brain fart. I have a brain fart to you guys. Let's see. So many people in radio that have had a major, major impact on the black community as well as Jesse Jackson. So we are losing our leadership. We are losing our focus of the black community. Instead of focusing on celebrity, they say, oh, I'm celebrity. Oh, I'm a musician. Like people sometimes like Little Nas X. Like who is Little Nas X? What has Little Nas X done for the black community? Oh, he's, oh, he's just this young guy. He makes some music, but what else has he been promoting? What has Lil Nas X really been promoting in the black community? What has been promoting? Satanism. Lil Nas X has been promoting Satanism in the black community. Okay, it's great he's a musician. Oh, he makes a lot of good music. But he has been promoting witchcraft in the black community. And we are the part of the black community is a Christian Christian network. Now it's okay, oh Lil Nas X, oh he's gay. Oh that's great. Okay, that's fine. Oh, he promotes, oh yeah, I'm great. Okay, that's great. Okay, let's let's celebrate, let's celebrate freedom, let's celebrate independence, let's celebrate the rights. That's great, but that's not really what he's promoting. Because if it was, that would be the focus of his music. That would be the drive behind what he does. And it is not. Because he is not involved in any kind of activism for gay and lesbian rights. He's not involved in it. He's not involved in any kind of events. Little Nas X is not. Now you have other rappers like, like Nas, N-A-S, that were involved with the black community in the early 1990s. Nas, as well as Queen Latifah, as well, not, not talking about Snoop Dogg, talking about Heavy D, when the music was real good back then, okay, in New York, in LA, and man, when the music was real good, it had a positive imp, run DMC. I mean, we had some really good, good um, Ella culture. Some really good musicians and rappers and R&B artists back then. They had just saying, you lift up yourself, my brothers and sisters. We can make it through the situation that we're going through. And we have now have these young pop musicians. They say, okay, I'm, I'm young, I'm cute, I'm hip, I have a lot of money. I'm going to take this money and, and move on with my life and not make any kind of social impact on the black community, as well as on the gay and lesbian community. So 
So you will see Lil Nas X going to the White House. You will see Lil Nas X going to community events. You will see Lil Nas X in New York. You will see Lil Nas X in Atlanta. You will see Lil Nas X in LA talking to the community. But no, so we see people like Paperboy Prince. Paperboy Prince has been running for mayor. He's been running for senator. He's also a community activist. He's also part of the part of the gay and lesbian um, community, and he's also a rapper. But at the same time, Paperboy Prince, okay, through his mayor Lori election, has been able to go out to the community and make an impact, a positive impact on the community. Paperboy Prince. That's a good. That's a good person to, to compare to. But Paperboy Prince is not as rich. It doesn't have much of an impact as Little Nas X. So you see what I'm saying? So if Little Nas X had the same amount of social impact that Paperboy community community involvement impact like Paperboy Prince, then we we'll then we should be then we will be talking. But I'm not talking, am I? I look cute today, I got a little scarf on, but I'm not talking. <laughs> I love Paperboy Prince. Shout out to you in New York, in Brooklyn, in Queens. Paperboy Prince is in Queens. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. Okay, but we have rappers like this to look up to, like young young people, young people are looking up to Little Nas X as their leader, when in fact he has not shown any kind of actions to say that he is a leader of the young people. He would be talking about education. He would be talking about going back to school. He would be talking about uh, uh, um, getting rid of student loans. He would be talking about improving education. He would talk about giving away scholarships. Little Nas X does not talk about scholarships. He doesn't talk about education. He doesn't talk about anything like that to make a positive impact. But I mean, I'm, I'm sure he has done other kind of community activism, which is good. But at the same time, it's not that I'm digging on Little Nas X. I'm not digging on him, but I just don't. I just don't support him. But they have, as well as other people, that have been involved. You know, like Little Baby has made has made a discrepancy, has made a tweet about the the gay and lesbian community that has impacted his career. But the Baby is a good rapper. He still is a good rapper, but because of his of his tweet. It has affected his career as well as him not being involved in the community. That's another issue, the baby. But there have been rappers all around the world. Uh, Chris Brown, through his domestic violence scandals, it affected his career. But he still has been a part of the, of the black community. Like LeBron James, all these NBA players, all these football players. They have made a positive, LeBron James, okay, has made a positive impact on the black community. But right now, we need more than just athletes and musicians and artists and rappers to lead us in. We need political influence, political people to lead us in the right direction. Leaders to step up to the zone that Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton have done before to help us pass laws. But at the same time, even though LeBron James has it, has that much of an impact, he still has not done as much of an impact to go out there and to change laws. Now LeBron James does have that does have that that impact in him to change laws, but at the same time, he still needs to go about making that community activism and getting back into his community. But he does have that power in him to do that. LeBron James. <laughs> he does. But the black community needs just more than one LeBron James to get them through what we're going through right now. LeBron James can't do it all by himself. LeBron James cannot do it all by himself. He's just one person. He's just isolated by himself. He, he can't lead a team by himself. And he can't lead a whole community by himself. He can't, he can't go overseas. You can't send LeBron James to Afghanistan because he can't take all those all the American trips af, out of Afghanistan by himself. LeBron James can't do it by himself, Mr. Uh, Donald Trump Jr. Trying to send LeBron James to Afghanistan. We need him in America. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> we need to keep LeBron James in America. Don't send him overseas. <laughs> okay, so the black community needs more leadership. We need more interest. 
I know I'm gonna get feedback. I know somebody's gonna call me on this. Call me out on this. I look cute today. I look cute today. I got a little scarf on, but I'm just saying this is what I'm saying. Okay. We need more leadership into us. All right. Okay, so we need more leaders to step up and step up to the plate. Jesse Jackson, as well as Reverend Al Sharpen, need to pass down the baton. They need to pass down the baton, as well as Juanita Bynum, Paula White. All of these leaders in this church need to pass down the baton to somebody else. So that people like, you know, Stephen Furtick, he's good. But he needs to have more people involved in his ministry because that person that has so much of an impact on thousands and thousands and millions of people has to have other people involved with his ministry too because you can't do it all by yourself. You can't do it all by yourself. Stephen Furtick can't do it all by himself. LeBron James can't do it all by himself. Jesse Jackson can't do it all by himself. Paperboy Prince can't do it all by himself. Okay? I know I'm going to give feedback on this. <laughs> All right. So this is Queen Battle talking about Reverend Jesse Jackson. I love you guys. Keep me your thoughts and prayers. Donate to me. Cash out Venmo, PayPal. Battle First Aid Responding Services. Okay. Love you guys.